That's when you take a cake layer and you're going to slice it in half horizontally. And the reason I want to do that is because I'm going to add a filling in between the layers. This is also useful for adding height to the cake. And I've added water to the icing to make it a thinner consistency so that it will spread smoothly on my cake. This is a cake leveling wire. Gently hold this to keep it from moving around and just slide it back and forth like that. I'm just going to lift this top layer of cake off. I don't want any of the filling to scoosh out the side between the layers of my cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe a wall of icing. Hold the bag at a 90 degree angle and I'm going to squeeze using steady pressure as I turn the turntable. The crumbs that are loose that are on the surface of the cake, this is a thin layer of icing that's going to make those crumbs stick to it. I'm not worried about making it look pretty. I don't even care if cake is showing through. I'll just dump all this icing on top here. You see how much icing there is between my spatula and the cake? And don't worry because you can never have too much icing, right? And then I like to go around and tidy up the edge there. And then I usually end up with a mound in the center, and I kind of just scrape that off like that. You want to hold it at a 90 degree angle to the side of the cake, and then just squeeze using steady pressure. Whoops. Steady pressure is a the key there. And then you can see it just pipes a ribbon of icing on the side of your cake there, which you then can go and smooth with your spatula.